I have seven kids myself, and if something happened to one of my kids, I would be devastated. And the fact that these people are here and they're, and they're doing what they're doing, it's awesome. A community still dealing with the grief after the murder of two young teenagers is using its heartbreak to give back to the families and to help police solve the case. The number of tips phoned and emailed in now reached a whopping 5,600, all of them potential leads to track down whoever killed Libby and Abby. The growing interest coming after the release of the recording of the suspected killer's voice found on Libby's phone. The other major clue is this grainy photo of the suspected killer walking along the trail. Tonight, Eyewitness News reporter David McAnally is in Delphi, where people are doing whatever they can to help find justice for these two girls. Emory, a very busy weekend for the police as they continue their investigation, but also they have to get ready to move the task force on this case. They're pretty jammed in here at police headquarters, so they're going to move over by the courthouse to a bigger space. From outside agencies, walk Highbridge Trail, getting more familiar with the crime scene and what's become a national manhunt. With the wind coming up and a storm coming in. Pray for Delphi and on the other side, Abby and Libby. Teens wear the bracelets and the t-shirt made by a victim's sister. And just before the rain, a careful walk out on the old bridge in the building breeze. And like everyone would just come out here just to like get away and, you know, clear our heads. And now it's just like you come out here and it's... It's very sad and emotional. But young people want to reclaim the good that was here from the evil that came 11 days ago. It's kind of like a conclosure, sort of, because um, they were out here, last seen here, walking on that bridge. I mean, you're not physically with them, but mentally you feel like you're with them. It may be the bridge a murder suspect walked, the image the nation sees, but it's still a place that brings memories of good times. It would give it a lot of memories. And just maybe we just come out here and just like give our th thoughts to them and tell them to look over us each and every day. And every day of the last two weeks, neighbors have looked over each other here. I, ha I have lots of childhood memories from here, my, my grandparents. Sherry and Michelle Nichols drove in from Logansport, giving stickers to police made by Michelle's drag racing sponsor. But when, you know, when it's a little community like this and it's like, you know, why are, why are there monsters out there that would do such a thing? Here the stickers they were working on and we look around and well there's the family again here from logansport for a pizza fundraiser for abby and libby at delphi pizza king so you had a large pepperoni. just one of multiple efforts here to boost the reward in the case now stands at fifty thousand dollars some drove up from india Me, brought my family with us to just try to help out somehow you know two and a half hours 35 79 my heart goes out to them. You know, I pray to God they catch whoever did this to them. Nourishing pizza tonight. Spiritual nourishment is planned for Monday. An organizer told me that they plan to do a prayer walk around Courthouse Square at 830 Monday morning. They say they're going to pray for the police because while other people can go about their daily lives, the police have to stay focused on the horrors of this case. Back to you, uh, John and Anne Marie. Right. All right, thank you. David McAnally in Delphi tonight. Now, they're also building a reward fund, and if you would like to donate, you can send a check to the Indiana State Police Alliance. We have the address on your screen right there, 15 or 1415 Shelby Street in Indianapolis. And uh, we also have it listed at WTHR.com. Make sure you write Delphi Reward on the check memo line. And you can also help by calling the tip line with any information that you have that might help police solve this case. The number on your screen right now, 844 Four five nine five seven eight six. We also have that number posted along with an email address at WTHR.com on the WTHR app and on our Facebook page. We want to I have seven kids myself, and if something happened to one of my kids.